surface area and volume of composite solids. So we're going to calculate the surface area and volume for this composite solid here. Remembering it's called composite because it's composed of several pieces or several shapes. Okay, And the three pieces it's composed of, and I'll write the formulas for each of them down. I'll, I'll just write it in blue. We have, um, actually no, we'll label this. Let's call this piece one, piece two, and piece three. There's three pieces that have been joined together. And piece one is a hemisphere. And the formula for the surface area of a hemisphere is, well, it's 4 pi r squared if it was a complete square. And since it's a hemisphere, we need to divide it by 2 at the end because it's half of a sphere. Um, the next, we'll look at the second shape, which is a cylinder. And it's an open cylinder meaning that there's no circles at each end of the cylinder. So for that one, our surface area is going to be um, 2 pi r h. And if you go back, we, you'll notice that we've ignored that end of the formula where it says plus 2 pi r squared, because there are no circles that need to be added to it. All right, and then the third one is a cone and the cone formula is surface area equals pi r l and quite often the formula has plus pi r squared at the end but we don't need it because there is no circle base on this cone so we've got our three formulas and we'll do one at a time so surface area one is four pi r squared divide two what is r well, r is the distance from the middle to the edge, and since that's 7, this will be 3.5. And r is going to be the same for the cone as well. It's also going to be 3.5. All right, let's plug that in. 4 times pi times r, 3.5 squared, divide 2. What are we going to get? All right, 4 times pi times 3.5 squared divide 2 equals and they want this correct to one decimal place so this one will actually round to 77.0 centimeters squared all right now let's find the surface area of shape 2 our open cylinder which is 2 times pi times r times h all right now r is 3.5 again the radius is the same for all, 3.5, and height is the 12, the distance along here, 3 times 12, let's work that one out, you can see we're taking a lot of space, a lot of working out here, 2 times pi times 3.5 times 12, giving us 263.9. Uh, centimeters squared. All right, now, surface area 3 is a bit more complicated because the formula says pi r l, and in case you've forgotten, l is this distance here. Okay, so we're actually going to have to use Pythagoras' theorem again, just like the last example. So we've got to construct a triangle, a right angle triangle like so. We know that this side is 6 and this side is the radius 3.5. Alright, our formula, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So um, c being l, so l squared, and we've got 6 and 3.5, so they can go in any order. What do we get? 6 squared plus 3.5 squared, 48.25. And then we square root it. Uh, square root of 48.25 is 
to one decimal place, 6.9 centimeters long. All right, so we had to do a little side note here and find out what L was, 6.9 is L. And now we can find the surface area of shape three, which is pi times R times L, or pi times 3.5 times 6.9. What are we going to get? Pi times 3.5 times 6.9 equals, and we're going to get 75 to one decimal place, 75.9. Nine uh, centimeters squared. Okay, this has taken a lot of time and I'm really running out of room, but I'll just right at the top here I'll go surface area total and we're going to add them all up. So we've got 77.0, 263.9 for the cylinder, and 75.9 for the cone. And when I add them up, I am going to get uh, 67.9. Plus 75.9 comes out to 416.8 centimeters squared.